um, today's video is going to be about variety of trucks that you can build out there with one chassis. So this is a, the, a real inexpensive chassis. It's my Enjora chassis. But I kind of wanted to show you guys something and kind of explain. The reason I'm doing it is because I want to explain my future project of what's upcoming. So this chassis, Enjora chassis, has a Bronco body, right? It also has the uh, Betsy's little milk truck which you guys have seen a video on. It also has my safari truck. And then last is the Roadster here. So all the other stuff I make, I've been putting on one chassis. So let me cut here and go to what I wanted to talk about today. Okay, so one more time in front of the camera. I keep saying that, don't I? So what I showed you pictures of is what your possibilities are. All three of these trucks are Jenny pack chassis that I've done. All three of them, Jenny pack chassis that I build bodies for. So you can see the variety that you can build with um, one chassis. So anyway, um, I've got another project that I want to do and what I'm getting ready to do is the same thing I did with my Enjora chassis. The Enjora chassis has uh, one, two, three, four bodies, okay, for the Enjora chassis. And I can flip flop them around and take them out there and have some fun. And it might look like I have a bunch of chassis, but I don't. So anyway, these three are Gen 8 pack chassis, mainly because I really love the platform of the Red Cat Gen 8. So I'm looking at these and I'm going, you know, I think I can do the same thing I did with my Enjora. So I'm today, the plan is, and this is going to be, I'm not going to show the actual building process, um, you know, videos detailing how I do it all together. Um, but I will do updates like, oh, I got lights in, I got the, uh, the electronics all in, you know, I'll, I'll do little short updates like I did with my uh, Cherokee build. I just did, I tried to keep them two to three minutes on updates. All right, so you might be seeing me pausing, but that's because cars are going by, but I like being outside and so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. But Anyway, so I'm looking at it saying, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did with the Enjora. And that is that I'm going to take these bodies. They all Gen 8 pack chassis, so that means they all fit on each other. Some modifications, like this one will probably take a lot of modifications. Um, because this bumper is custom made to the front end there. But uh, anyway, I'll still be able to figure it out because they all fit the same chassis, bottom line. So variety, but well, what I'm going to do is these, this truck is going to stay as is. Never going to change it. I love this truck. It's one of my favorites and uh, it's going to stay the way it is. These two, I'm going to take the bodies off and just... Little by little, if I want to run them, I'll adapt them 
to that chassis. They're all the same. And I can do that. This way I can run them all on one chassis. So that's the plan. These, if I want to run them, can run on here. The plan is I'm going to have two leftover chassis. Yeah, that sounds awesome, doesn't it? So I'm going to have two leftover chassis. And I've always had a vision and a dream for building a 6x6 six six, uh, tow truck. But two chassis, that means I can do, means I can do an 8x8. Eight eight. So the goal is, I'll have two leftover chassis. These will all be on one chassis. And I've always had a dream of doing an, a 6x6 six six tow truck. But I got two chassis left. Four axle. So I'm going to attempt to do an 8x8. Eight Kind of similar to that Emmett, I think it's called, by Cross RC, the real big one. So I'm going to see if I can do two, uh, 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 an 8x8 eight eight out of these two chassis. Wish me luck. Don't know if I'll be able to do it. Worst that can happen is they go back to their original state. And uh, back on these bodies go back on them. Anyway. If everything works out, I'll get my giant 8x8 tow truck that I've always wanted. And it's going to be custom because I'm not going to use these chassis. I'm going to use the aluminum I've got so that I can build one nice, big, long chassis uh, and then take a lot of these parts and axles and use them on that chassis. So that's the plan. And then whatever's left over can also be in case something breaks off of this one, you know? And uh, and I like this one a lot too, so who knows, maybe I'll buy another Gen 8 pack down the road and, you know, put it back on that one. But I'm gonna do run videos on these before I take them apart, just so I have a, a good record of them out there on the road. Thanks guys.